Year 2000, Mazak, quick turn 250, serial number 146764 with Fusion 640T control. Chip conveyor, coolant pan, manuals, bar feed system. I'm not going to roll that down, but that cover comes down. We have it open. Spindle liners for the bar feed, the machine. This is a plexiglass cover that was manufactured for this machine to cover the side. There is no lower side panel. The machine was used with a bar feed. It's got a cutout. that slides here to allow access to the spindle. The machine has a multi-tap transformer on it. It can be wired low or high voltage. Can't really quite read that very well, but it's a January January 2000 machine, serial number 146764. Electrical cabinet. Fans running. Both fans. Axis drive, power supply. out the filter, have the back access panel off the machine, which is sitting here along the ground, just so we had access to clean the machine in the back. See back into the linear rails, ball screw. See the back side of the coolant pan with the coolant pump right there. Chip conveyor again. It's a Jorgensen conveyor. look at the serial tag and as it states a little over 9,000 pounds all the buttons looks like they uh, they relabeled them after some of the things wore off which is all quite clear here membranes in nice shape. Mouse works. Graphics are clear. And on the inside, pre-draw hydraulic chuck, tool eye, parts catcher, tail stock, station turret. We've got three boring bar holders and a one, two, three, four, five, five turning wedges.
looks like there's some leveling pads for it as well. Short program. <laughs> Running 3,000 RPM. We're going to bring the tool eye down. We'll touch off on each of the sensor locations. You're going to hear the air blow. Uh, I'll try to talk loud enough so you can hear the air. Try to stop talking so you can hear the sensor beep. And then we'll move into moving the tailstock. And then we'll finish up by uh, doing a manual indexing of the turret to each location in one direction, followed by moving it in the other direction. and location by location. going to do is the parts catcher which you can see there's the rise and then the drop down again into the bucket works fine there that's controlled through the, the panel up there and then we have the uh, the foot pedal down here for the chuck open close you can see the jaws condense and then they open up one more time so I think with that we're 